Hi, welcome to another tutorial from Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this four key keypad uh, with Arduino. I'll provide you the code and I will explain everything. So you need, sometimes you need, let's say four push buttons or maybe two or three. So this is a good option to just use it. And for each, you need two wires internally one this wire is connected in common for all of those so it eliminates three extra wires and also in terms of connectivity all of the these these are connected clean and easy so you just connect your wire and this can be used so this is very flexible you can even bend it tape it whatever way you want as long as you don't break it from this point and this point so this is very nice it can be compact as well so this is a very simple keypad. It has four keys, but we have five wires here. That for each we need two wires. So one wire is common for all. Instead of eight, we have only five. And there is a slight resistance that I measured it. So here I'm, I'm showing you how you can connect the pens. The pens from here, I've connected them to Arduino accordingly from left to right. Here, so the, the first one goes to three and then goes to two, four, and then five, and then the last one goes to ground. So this is the, the last one, which I put the black, and it's connected to the ground. The rest are going from pen two, three, four, and five here. So here is the explanation of the code. As you can see, I've defined the keys as a variable, a constant variable, so it makes my life easy. So I call this key one, key two, key three, key four. And then these are the pen that you connected to Arduino. So don't worry about it, just connect from left to right. So these are the pen that I showed you on the image. So this will be connected. And then this setup from here, it shows that uh, this is for printing the text on the screen, 9600 baud. And then we say key one, which which refers to pen two. So this is as if I type pen two, as if I type two here. We put it as input pull up. Input pull up is a different type of input that has a resistor in it because when you don't press a button, you need some status. So this will take the mm, pen to high, which makes it high. So, so for that reason, you have to put it as pull up. Internally on Arduino, it just adds a resistor and makes your life easy. You don't have to put extra resistor and stuff. So this is a very smart way. And then key two, key three, key four, for all of those, we put them as input and with a pull-up resistor. And here, this is the loop, which ends from here to here. And then these four lines are reading the input. I call it key one S, S uh, I'm referring to the status. So the status of the key one, status of the key two, three, and four. And here it reads the key one, which reads digital read mean, read the input. And key one, this is as if I type two here. So it just reads the inputs and store it th in these values. And here, four of this is for key two, key one, key two, three, and four. And I'm gonna explain one of those. Here it says if this key one status is not because normally it always is high because we set here pull up resistor we don't have pull down resistor so this is pull up resistor and the input is always high once uh, when it's not pressed so when you press it it goes low so this means the opposite of high the exclamation mark so we just say press key one press key two press so let me open the serial monitor for you so here when i press key one it says key one pressed. And if I two press, press two, if I press the two, continuously it goes, look at the scroll bar that scrolls. So if I press three, so one again, and then four. If I press four, it shows four. So, so here you can do something if key one is pressed do something sometimes you need to have four push buttons so this is exactly the push button that you need so this is push button one push button two three and four and you can do something when push button two is pressed 
let's say a light is on, a motor starts rotating, an arm, a servo starts acting. So whatever you want, and the same thing for two and three. And then the last one is the delay that is 100 millisecond or one tenth of a second, or if I put it this way, it reads it 10 times a second, and this will be printed 10 times, as you can see here. When I press it, it, it goes 10 times. And you can get the code uh, for this project by clicking at the link at the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Uh, thank you for watching. Please thumb up the video, please share it, and also please subscribe to get updates of my upcoming videos.